Uh, moving on to the um, uh, early morning arrest, the dawn raid of uh, Paul Murphy. Uh, wh- what did you think, Olivia? Was it cack handed? Um, no, I mean, to be honest, I don't uh, know enough about the justice system to know wh- how the guards co- decide to do it in the morning. But the reality is that, you know, people say, you know, he'll never end up in prison. But the reality is a crime was committed. Um, Okay, an alleged crime, I suppose I shouldn't say, I shouldn't be so, so firm, but from what we saw on the television, um, people were stopped from moving, people were terrorised in their cars, uh, and I think a lesson has to be, uh, a message has to be sent out that this kind of behaviour is not acceptable. But, but you know, if, acceptable. if you can't take I mean, the heat, to get out of the kitchen, this is the message. Like, people sorry, are saying, sorry, no, it's, if it was my mother, if it was my sister, if it was my daughter, if it was my aunt, females locked in a car, people on the car for two hours, you would be terrified. However, they also say if you're a politician and yeah. you get to be tarnished, uh, you've got to be yeah. made a stern. Well, the next stuff. point well, I was going to make that this is not just because she's a politician. This is also about the workers of Irish Water who are being terrorised. It's about the Gardaí who are being terrorised and putting up with awful abuse. And that is that is the ongoing problem that I think the guards are more concerned about. And I think it has to be dealt with. And I think anyone who's defending the arrests or saying it's a terrible thing, these were acts of violence and terrorism. Well, I don't know if they're well, acts of terrorism. Well, people were terrorised.